Family connections in the music industry have always been a thing. The roots on these family trees are strong. Andre Young, a.k.a. Dr. Dre, has often been called the greatest producer in the history of rap and is largely responsible for putting the West Coast gangster rap on the map. He's produced some of the most recognizable songs in the history of music and launched the careers of some of the most successful rappers of all times, including Snoop Dogg, Eminem, 50 Cent, and Kendrick Lamar. Dr. Dre began his music journey as a member of the group World Class Wrecking Crew, alongside future NWA member DJ Yella. Their music and attire were a huge contrast to what Dr. Dre would go on to be known for. In 1987, Dr. Dre, Easy e Ice Cube, MC Ren, DJ Yella, and Arabian Prince signed to Ruthless Records as the group NWA. Their first album, Straight Outta Compton, became a huge success despite being banned on the radio because of its explicit content. As both artist and producer, Dre created music and often rapped about violence in the inner city and police brutality, bringing gangster rap to the mainstream. In 1991, ready to take his talent to the next level, Dre left NWA to found Death Row Records with Suge Knight. A year later, Dre released his first single since leaving NWA. The title track for the movie Deep Cover introduced the world to Snoop Dogg. Dr. Dre's debut solo album, The Chronic, was the first album released on death row. The Chronic is considered one of the best rap albums of all time and is credited with introducing a new style of rap called West Coast G-Funk. In 1996, Dre collaborated with Tupac on his label debut, All Eyes On Me. Their song, California Love, became a rap anthem and one of the most popular rap songs of all time. During this time, Dre formed his own imprint, Aftermath Entertainment, followed by the signing of future rap icon Eminem in 1998. In 1999, Dre released his second solo album, 2001, featuring collabs with Snoop Dogg, Exhibit, Nate Dogg, Eminem, and Mary J. Blige. The track list included Still DRE, The Next Episode, and Forget About Dre, three of his solo platinum selling and most recognizable songs in rap history. Dr. Dre's success continued well into the 2000s. In 2002, Dre signed Rap's next megastar 50 Cent and produced his hit debut album Get Rich or Die Trying in 2003. It became one of the best-selling albums of all time and Dre co-produced the hit single In The Club. In 2006, Dr. Dre co-founded Beats by Dre and in 2014 earned a seven-figure deal through its acquisition by Apple. 2011 brought aftermath signing of Compton's Kendrick Lamar. Dre executive produced Lamar's classic album, Good Kid, Mad City. Dre didn't stop there. He partnered with former NWA member Ice Cube to produce 2015's NWA biopic, Straight Outta Compton. In 2022, the mega hit maker reminded the world he's still DRE, performing alongside artists he created hits with. He made history repping for the West Coast during the Super Bowl halftime show. Dre isn't the only person in his family with success in rap. Did you know he's the stepbrother of another West Coast hitmaker, Warren G? Warren Griffin, AKA Warren G, contributed to G-Funk, hip hop with a mellowed out sound with bouncing bass lines and hypnotic high-end melodies. As the younger stepbrother of Dr. Dre, Warren G was determined to make a name for himself, separate from Dre's shadow, creating his own lane in hip hop music. Dre was already an established rapper and producer with NWA when he taught Warren how to program a drum machine. During high school, Warren with friends Snoop Dogg and Nathaniel Nate Dogg Hall formed the hip hop crew 213, a shout out to their area code. The trio practiced regularly and recorded in a back room of Long Beach's VLP record store. The group soon disbanded after he played Snoop's demo, Super Duper Snooper, for Dre. Soon after, Dre and Snoop would begin their successful run, and the rest was rap history. In 1993, Warren met director John Singleton at Dre's studio and was hired to produce Endo Smoke for the soundtrack to Singleton's film, Poetic Justice, starring Janet Jackson. The song was a hit and resulted in Warren signing to Def Jam Records. Warren maintained that signature sound and continued using it to make hits. His next single, Regulate, from the Above the Rim soundtrack, peaked at number two on the Billboard charts in 1994 and became the hottest hip-hop single of the summer. 
His 1994 debut album, Regulator, G-Funk Era, featured hit singles Regulate and This DJ, and added him to the list of notable rappers from Compton. Warren was both producer and rapper on the album. Regulate G-Funk Era sold 1 million copies in his first three days, debuted at number two on the Billboard album chart, and remained in the top 10 long after that. The album's smooth, melodic sound was unlike the rap of the time and was a throwback to vintage R&B rhythms coupled with gangster lifestyle lyrics. Three years after Warren introduced the G-Funk sound with Regulate, G-Funk Era, he released his follow-up, Take a Look Over Your Shoulder. In 2015, Warren released Regulate, G-Funk Era 2, the sequel to the 1994 original. It featured collabs with E-40, Too Short, Jeezy, Bun B, and Warren G's 213 group member, West Coast legend, Nate Dogg. Anyone who is truly a fan of West Coast rap music rides hard for Warren G. Brothers Dr. Dre and Warren G have proven that dreams can become a reality. From the streets of Compton to the top of the music charts, these hit makers demonstrate the impact of West Coast rap both in front of the mic and behind the boards. Turns out artistic talent and creative abilities really do run in the family. These stars will never have to worry about being the only celebrity at the family reunion.